All right, so I just finished converting my Avatar 3D movie to a side-by-side -side on my hard drive. And I'm using DVD Fab software, which is right over here, DVD Fab. You guys can see it, there it is, DVD Fab. Now, the reason you have to use this software, as I mentioned, uh, on my previous video, it's because number one, guys, you can't simply. If I want to, I want to make this clear. Don't think when you purchase this Blu-ray player that all you need to do is just put the disc in and put on your Oculus Rift or your Samsung Odyssey Plus, and all of a sudden you're going to be watching 3D movie. That's not how it works on the PC. On the PlayStation VR and the PlayStation 4 Pro, you can do that. On the PC, it's a different ball game because of the HDCP 2.2. Okay, meaning that high definition copyright protection that's put in place long time ago. So, you need a software to convert this disc into a side-by-side -side MKV 3D file. Now, what I basically did here, I used a MKV file, which is right over here. You can see it. Uh, my camera today is just not, it's not working properly. It's just not focusing and it's just not good. But anyway, it's right here. If you guys can see it. There it is. Sorry for the camera. I'm doing my best here trying to uh, show you this. See, I already finished it, and it's successful. It took about six gigabytes. Now, before you do that, you have to click here. You have to click on the ripper. You click on the ripper, and from the ripper, you click and you select what do you want to do, which movie do you want to convert. But first, you have to make sure that you go down here and select where you want to put your movies. I currently have my movies under the... Uh, D, which is my three terabytes hard drive, and it's on the 3D movies. So you select there, and then from there, once you, you first have to have a disc inside. First, you have to put a disc inside the tray, and then select the disc, the movie that you want to convert. And how do you want to convert it? Do you want to convert it to a 3D? Do you want to convert it to a 4K? If you want to convert it to a 3D, you have to use a split screen. Uh, you click on the little settings icon menu and you click there and you select that you want to do a side by side. Okay. And once you're done converting it to an MKV uh, 3D file, guess what? Voila, there it is. The movie is ready to go. This is the avatar, as you can see. It's playing, it's good to go. There it is. Okay. Now, the reason it's like this, side by side, it's because when you use your PC VR headset, when you use your PC VR headset, you're going to have to use another software called Big Screen. And Big Screen, it's free. Uh, you don't have to pay for it. You can download it, whether you have Windows Mixed Reality or Oculus Rift. It doesn't matter what you have. You will be able to download this and you will be able to... Uh, to use it now when you're watching like this obviously even when you put on the VR headset you're gonna see it like this but this is why you need the big screen I hope you guys are staying with me on this this is the big screen it's right here now you can't see what I'm seeing because you would have to put the VR headset on when you put the VR headset on you click on the monitor this is your room you click on the monitor this is my room, Mr. 4K VR. Uh, currently, it's closed because I don't want to broadcast. You click on the monitor, and from here, you can select whether you want 2D or 3D SPS. And that's exactly what we want. We want 3D SPS. Soon as you select 3D side by side, this movie will look in 3D. And it really looks great in 3D. I tested it, I tried it, it looks really great. Uh, 
The only thing I would have done differently, I would have uh, maybe encoded to a higher bit rate, but that would take 12 gigabytes. You know, I'm trying to conserve in the hard drive. And once you have this big screen VR and you start playing it from your desktop, you will be able to see it in 3D. As long as you select on the big screen settings, select 3D SPS and you are good to go. And the reason I suggest big screen VR because it's the best, honestly, for the 3D movies. And when you're done, well, there it is, and you can continue, and there it is, you know, I mean, you're good to go. But just remember, just remember that uh, this is the only way that you will be able to watch on your PC. Now, like I said, if you have a PlayStation VR and... PlayStation 4 Pro, which obviously you will need to have a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro if you have PlayStation VR, because it's not going to work without one or the other. If you have PlayStation VR, then all you have to do is just put this disc inside a PlayStation VR and you're good to go. Now, with PlayStation VR, there's some options as well, which I might do a video on that. There are options where you can uh, make the screen smaller. I do not recommend that you have a screen big on the PlayStation VR 3D because the 3D effect only works better if the the screen is further away not being too big and being too close if the screen is too uh, far away then I don't mean too much far away but more uh, away from your you know your face like you need to move it down a bit and once you move it down a bit then the 3d effect is going to work better the 3d effect only works better if you're watching it from a distance okay i don't understand why people gotta sit so close to a 3d screen I i've been to so many 3d imax real 3d imax 3d theaters i mean real 3d imax theaters and i've seen people get sit so close like why are you sitting so close the best effect on the 3d it's when you're sitting far away Okay, and even James Cameron will tell you that if you want to have that 3D effect, you have to sit far away from from the screen. Okay, as you can see, it might look kind of weird, but this is how it is. That's because it's split. Now, when you use SPS, these two images come together, and you're getting the nice depth of 3D effect, and it works really well. But the only way you're gonna know how this works is you're gonna have to put on the VR headset. It could be Oculus Rift, Windows Mixed Reality, uh, uh, from Samsung Odyssey Plus, it doesn't matter. But remember, you are going to need a this software. This one right here. You're going to need it. You're going to need this right here. DVD Fab. This is why I keep telling you this software dvd fab because this dvd fab software will help you convert from a 3d blu-ray from your 3d blu-ray onto your hard drive but first you need to put the 3d blu-ray disc inside your usd blu-ray writer and then you click on the software and you start ripping it click on the ripper and then all you have to do is just select the settings. What do you want to do? Do you want to convert it to 3D? Uh, I'll go more in depth on this uh, in my next videos. Like I said, if you have any questions, please do ask me down below in the comment section. I'll, I'll help you out. I'll show you how to do this. This is really easy. It's not that difficult to convert to 3D to side by side, split screen or top to bottom, okay, you have many different options. You can even convert it to 8K if you want. Uh, okay, so, well, there you have it. I hope this helps. Uh, and then, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know, ask me down below. Hopefully, this was informative, okay? Have a good one, y'all. Take care.